What's good with y'all? It's your boy Ross back at it again with another video. So, um, AEW, man, their go home show for full gear, amazing. It was a very entertaining go home show. I must say, that's how you do a go home show. A lot of times in WWE, their go home shows are, are pretty lackluster. This go home show, for the most part, was very entertaining. The crowd was very lively. It got you even more hyped to see the pay per view this weekend. I'm looking forward to Full Gear this weekend. And this promo that we're about to check out it is easily one of the best promos i've seen all year cody simply puts his all into this promo you can tell it wasn't scripted you can tell this it comes from the heart the way he was just delivering this it hyped me up for his match between chris jericho i'm looking forward to it i really wish wwe we get rid of the scripted promos because this is how you sell a match i am looking forward to it we're gonna check this out together i've already seen it and it just gave me goosebumps and just made me hype about the match but we're gonna break it down and then after that we're gonna talk about uh nxt because i did check out nxt and there were some great things that happened on nxt uh tonight as well so we're just gonna go through break it down piece by piece man and uh, i just give my thoughts on it but this wednesday nights is the place to be when it comes uh to wrestling man so let's get right into this awesome awesome promo man just this is how you do a promo for real for real i know y'all were saying my little beef i got going on with dub was a pretty good promo this this is kills it knocks it out the park i could never compare to such a promo like this this was awesome This crowd was so lively. The energy, they were just so excited. Like, this is what WWE is missing. Just, just the intensity, man. Easily one of the best looking championship belts out there when it comes to wrestling. Definitely love their championship belt. This is when the promo starts getting real good, real juicy, man. I know his father would be proud of what he's doing right now for wrestling as a whole. Good feeling, it is positive. But 
for the cold and sterile historians of our business, there's an air of controversy that surrounds it. It's from the simple fact that those men were also, in addition to being competitors, they were managers. Mm -hmm. not, not unlike myself. He's bringing up some very valid points. I like this. AEW is doing it right, man. They're doing it right. AEW, where wrestling matters, and you see it in the product so far. As a, <laughs> someone in the crowd said, we don't care. You're Cody Rose, bro. We don't give a fuck. Put yourself in the title match. We don't give a damn. We're still going to watch. We still want you to win. Like, I love it, man. Just, I love it. But he's making some valid points. And this is something that I thought as well. He is in management. And he's in a title match. And a lot of people can say, oh, how is that smart booking your top guy who's also in management is automatically in a title match like what's going on here you know what i'm saying why is someone else not getting a shot over cody is it because he's in management he's part of the upper echelon when it comes to decision making within the company so he gets to decide him he gets to decide to put himself in a match like this that's a valid valid argument that's a valid point and i like that he brought that up <clears throat> This was a big announcement too. I am announcing that if I do not defeat And he does, man. All them years in WWE and they really didn't give him the respect he deserved. They didn't give his brother the respect the respect he deserved. If I do not defeat Chris Jericho at full gear, I will never challenge for the AEW World Championship again. I like that, man. It's like, hey, if if I do not win, I won't challenge for the, the championship at no point ever. And I like that. It also raises stakes for this match. So I like that. This was this was raises the stakes for the match. And this is when it really ramps up. Oh. <clears throat> You've taken to calling my lot entitled millennials. You've called me an entitled millennial bitch. Mm. I like this. It's so neglected to read in your best selling book, Alliance Tale, which you can get on Amazon for three dollars <laughs> or at any or at any flea market. I love it, man. I love it. Love it, bro. I love it. Just the just the realism with his promo. You dismissed, you dismissed every accomplishment I've made. Mm. You've talked about how I'm not going to be able 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 to This is this was so good. Mm, mm, mm. Preach, Cody. Yo, this is gives gives me goosebumps, bro. I'm getting goosebumps right now. I'm not even lying. Just the passion that he has with this promo, selling this match even more. Your 
circle, your inner circle, and you let them know the ground should be rumbling between their feet because the elite are coming. And when the elite and the inner circle square off, it'll be a match beyond, and we are going to eat you alive. Love it, man. Just, just love it. Such a good promo, man. That's how you sell a match. Simple. Simple. That's how you sell a match right there. I am interested in seeing where this match goes. Now the stakes are raised. If he does not win, he can never challenge for the AEW championship. And I think that's fair. He's the top guy. He's literally in management when it comes to this. He's signing people to the company. I'm okay with that. Honestly, I don't know who's going to win. I'm very intrigued to see. Um, after this, they had some pretty dope matches. Um, I want to say what made this Go Home show even more just enjoyable for me was the fact that pretty much everyone in the inner circle and the All Elite crew, they were just going at it. It was a massive brawl. Like Kenny Omega going at it with John Moxley. He has a barbed wire bat. Kenny Omega has a barbed wire broom. And it, it was just chaos in the best possible way. Crowd was eating it up. I was eating it up. I was enjoying it. That's how you send the crowd happy and excited to see what's going to happen at AEW Full Gear. I'm looking forward to it. Let me know if you guys are looking forward to that pay-per-view this weekend. That's definitely something I'm going to try to take time out of my afternoon once I get everything settled for the day and I do all my recording and stuff to watch that and I'm going to give my thoughts and opinions on that this weekend, man. So, looking forward to what AEW brings to us for their very first pay-per-view after their TNT uh, premiere and uh, I'm just looking forward to it and Cody once again delivering it on the mic one of the best promos I've heard all year it's easily up there okay so let's get into NXT we're not gonna really watch a clip because I don't want to make this video too long but basically uh, it starts with the OC attacking uh, members of the Undisputed Era. I don't think Adam Cole was in that attack, but they were attacking members of the Undisputed Era. It was pretty dope. They kind of invade uh, NXT, which we kind of figured somebody was going to invade NXT. And then uh, afterwards, um, he gets they get confronted by Tommaso Ciampa. They end up having a match later on that night. It was it was entertaining. Like this this show was very entertaining uh, for the most part. Um, they're mostly just building up to war games and and also Survivor Series, which is later on this month. Uh, at the end, uh, Adam Cole uh, comes in from behind after Finn Balor. He Finn Balor attacks uh, one of Tommaso Ciampa's teammates, and on the outside, he attacks uh, he attacks Matt Riddle on the outside, and he's just standing there, just all stoic, all cool and chill. And uh, that's when uh, AJ Styles tries to hit the Style Clash on uh, on Tommaso Ciampa. He gets super kicked out of oblivion by Adam Cole. Adam Cole hits his finishing move on him, and he's standing there looking tall while Finn Balor's just looking all cool and stoic. And I also like the little tease between AJ Styles and and uh, and Finn Balor. AJ's holding his too sweet sign, you know what I'm saying? And uh, Finn Balor giving him this sign right here, man. Like he, they they also have history with each other, which is I like that they're teasing that they do have previous history with each other. So it's it's just dope to see good wrestling on both fronts in both companies uh i definitely did enjoy aew's go home show more than i enjoyed this uh this episode <clears throat> of nxt but <clears throat> but they were both enjoyable but uh i want to get y'all opinions if y'all and which ones y'all enjoyed more was it aew this week or was it nxt i like to ask that from week to week get y'all opinions on it if y'all or maybe y'all enjoyed them both equally but me personally once again aew knocks it out the park looking forward to their first pay
pay-per-view outside of the TNT premiere, and I enjoyed that show uh, a little bit more than NXT this week, but both of them equally good shows. Cody Rose killed the promo. But yeah, man, uh, let me know down below in the comments section, who do y'all think is going to win the AEW Championship? Do y'all think Cody Rose is going to win? Do y'all think Chris Jericho is going to win? Oh, I also forgot to mention Chris Jericho's video package hilarious bro this is why it makes it so hard for me to decide whether he should keep the title or not because he is fantastic as a heel that video package was more entertaining than damn near three hours of any raw this year I'm not lying that video package was funny but had some realism behind it basically everybody in the inner circle telling reasons why Chris Jericho is an amazing champion. You got someone from Chris Jericho's like church or something like that <laughs> saying, I hope some old, old woman talking about, I hope Chris Jericho kicks <laughs> Cody Rose's ass. Like you have people, just, it's, it was just so amazing. Uh, Sammy Guevara was talking about oh, <laughs> Chris Jericho at the age of 46. Is the, I forgot what age he, uh, Chris Jericho is. I mean, he said basically at the age he is, he's the youngest AEW champion. That's because he's the only AEW champion so far. It was so funny. And I love Chris Hager. Uh, I'm not Chris Hager. Jack Hager's uh, expression. He doesn't say a single word. He just... <sighs> doesn't say a single word and i love it It it's so dope so funny man i i that was such a funny video package he's a heel but he's entertaining he's 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 a good champion so i don't know if they're gonna take the belt off of him so we will see let me know if y'all think he's gonna retain the title or he's gonna drop it to cody let's start off a discussion but i appreciate y'all kicking it with me and this is for you dub I haven't seen the video response yet. Don't wait, make me wait for too long, man. I'm serious. Lay off the blondie jokes. Peace.